Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Welcome to the Alex Jones Show on this Thursday, June 26, 2014. I'm David Knight. I'll be your host today. We have a jam-packed show. We're going to have uh, Paul Joseph Watson joining us at the bottom of the hour. We have some very interesting articles that he's put up, and we're going to talk about that main one I'm interested in is this ex-CIA officer who claims that open source revolution is about to overthrow a global oligarchy. And the reason I like this is because it is so optimistic. This guy sees us winning this thing. You know, a revolution is coming. The question is, is it going to be a peaceful revolution or is it going to be a violent revolution? Is it going to be a revolution that results in individual liberty or is it going to result in a security state? And so it's, I'm very anxious to talk to Paul about this article. I think you'll enjoy hearing about it. We also have updates on what's going on with SWAT teams all around the country. We've got 10 facts that you need to know about SWAT teams. And we also see that uh, from an article from uh, Mikhail Thalen, we see that SWAT team association in uh, Massachusetts, uh, regional SWAT teams say that they don't have to respond to freedom of information requests because they're private organizations. And the ACLU says, well, you know, either you're a government organization because you're getting this equipment, this money, this funding, this training and doing government jobs, or you're breaking the law. What is it? So that's an interesting uh, take on this to see the arrogance of uh, our government as it continually goes further and further into a secret police state where we're not allowed to know anything about the operation of anyone who works in a government. It's not just the police, it's not just the military, it certainly isn't the CIA or the NSA. Everybody is acting as if they work for the CIA now. They all aren't going to tell you anything and uh, it's all a top secret. So we're gonna be talking to Paul Joseph Watson about that at the bottom of the hour. We've got Alex Jones is going to be joining us with a special report, and we're going to be talking to Gerald Salenti. Now, of course, there's a lot of news about economics. Yesterday, we talked about how they have revised the gross domestic product up from 1% decline to a 3% decline, 2.9%. That is huge. And so we're going to be talking about what's really behind that data. We want to get Gerald Salenti's forecast on that. He has a lot to tell us as well about Iraq, that's a favorite topic of his, how the military industrial complex is always pushing us into war. So Gerald has a lot to say about that, as well as the economic data. And of course, when we look at this uh, right after the break, when we come back and start going over news, we're going to look at the different excuses that are being offered for this massive decline in the economy. So we're going to look at what's really behind it. We're going to look at the excuses that are going to be put out there. There's also a lot of breaking news about the uh, Supreme Court. They're releasing a lot of decisions here this week. They're coming multiple ones a day. Uh, we had a couple of decisions yesterday. One of the ones that I thought was uh, most important was the unanimous decision from the Supreme Court saying that police need a search warrant to look at data on your phone. Really? Do you think? <laughs> that, that's great. They unanimously upheld the Fourth Amendment. So that's good. Uh, that's real good news. And today we have another decision from them where they essentially uh, strike down some free speech zones in Massachusetts that were put up around abortion clinics. So we're going to talk about that as well as another decision that affected Obama's recess appointments. And I think Kurt Nemo has the right take on this that a lot of people have missed. And that is the background behind this, that this is really about trying to establish a balance between different branches and the federal government. And of course, the way the Constitution was set up, it wasn't just a division and a check and balance within the federal government, as we're told in our government schools. Really, that was there, certainly is there. That's a part of it. But it's also key that we understand and that we recover not only the understanding, but the actual practice that there's a division between the central authority, between the state authorities, and between the people. 
And the key way you're going to get that is with jury nullification. We're not going to talk about that, but we're going to talk about these Supreme Court decisions and about scofflaw federal employees and bureaucracies and congressmen. So stay with us. We'll be right back. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I just received my Male Vitality about three days ago, and I must say that is good stuff. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO or Organic Super Male Vitality Formula. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I look forward to waking up and taking my Super Male Vitality and getting the day started. It's not just the Super Male Vitality. All the products at InfoWarsLife.com are simply amazing. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Man, when I get home from work, all Betty does is watch her reality TV and then she goes to sleep. I can take her on romantic dates, I get her flowers, you name it. She's just not the woman I married. Oh, Ralph, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? Are the honeymoon days of your relationship long gone? If so, consider this. The abundance of chemical additives, pesticides, BPA containers, contaminated tap water, and other toxic substances found in our environment. Experts know our bodies are some and being thrown off balance, especially when it comes to your natural systems. Forget synthetic chemicals. Super Female Vitality brings forward key herbs specifically chosen for women's biology without the use of phony additives. Get your bottle of Super Female Vitality today at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or call 1-888-253-3139. InfoWarsLife.com. Live life healthy. Resistance to tyrants is obedience to God. It's Alex Jones. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight on this Thursday, June 26, 2014. I'll be your host today. And, of course, we'll be joined later in the show by a special report by Alex Jones, as well as an interview with Gerald Salenti coming up in the third hour. A lot of breaking economic news. So we want to get uh, Gerald Salenti's takes on that, on the forecast, we've had a huge downturn, a huge revision, and that's a downturn in the gross domestic product. They estimated that it was just a 1% downturn, which would be bad enough, but then they tripled that yesterday. So we're going to talk a little bit more about that in detail in just a few minutes, and we're going to talk to Gerald Salenti about that. And I know that a topic that Gerald loves to talk about is the military industrials complex uh, driving us into war. He's got a lot to say about that. So he's going to be joining us in the third hour. Alex will be with us in the second hour. Paul Joseph Watson is going to be joining us at the bottom of the hour. So we've got a very busy show here. Before we get to our guests, I wanted to go over some news. Uh, there's a story up on Infowars.com from Adon Salazar talking about the growing chorus that is charging Obama with facilitating immigration and flux. You know, I'm reminded of the the latest uh, Captain America movie where the Robert Redford character says, you have to destroy 
the world to rebuild it. You know what they're doing is they're creating a new world disorder before they establish their new world order. They're doing this not only in America, but they're also doing it in Europe. That's uh, what we're seeing going on with uncontrolled immigration there because they're using essentially the same tactics. They're trying to consolidate the different areas of the globe regionally into a European Union, into NAFTA. Then they are going to take those areas down. And, and one of the ways that they do it is with a massive, uncontrolled demographic surge. And we've heard yesterday, we've played excerpts from Petraeus talking in London, talking about what comes after America. He says, well, that's simple. North America. We're 20 years into NAFTA. And so... Uh, we're going to see that uh, North America, the unified uh, North America, is going to replace America. They're very upfront about it now. They've come out, they've taken the mask off. They're no longer pretending that NAFTA is just a trade deal. And it isn't a trade deal. Neither was the European Union a trade deal. They are both intermediate steps to a global control. And we're seeing that now. And as Adon points out, many people are joining the chorus and saying that this is not a that the surge and you know I, when i talk about a surge it reminds me exactly of petraeus this is really a demographic surge this is boots on the ground we've been attacked from the above by the banksters with a uh, massive debt with the mortgage collapse uh, of the economy uh five years ago six years ago actually now we're getting boots on the ground that are going to put that in. And, of course, it's uh, not just a spontaneous humanitarian crisis, but it's carefully concocted, premeditated plan that is purposely set in motion by, as he points out, the Obama administration. And of course, that plan is coming from NAFTA. And the people that, it's a lengthy article, you need to take a look at this, but it's Jeff Sessions. we got Jan Brewer. we got the Speaker of the House. We've got... Arizona representatives saying what occurs when the Obama administration chooses not to enforce our laws. We have the Texas judge. We've got the National Border Patrol Council. These are people, the former Association of Border Patrol officers. They're the boots on the ground. They're the ones seeing that the, that the uh, borders are collapsing, and they're very upset about the fact that they're no longer doing law enforcement. They're just changing diapers and running a taxi service into the United States. And, of course, this is being done by Homeland Security, the same organization that controls our collapsed borders is also harassing and still harassing people in the airport. And of course, we showed from the mistakenly published unredacted lawsuit uh, that John Corbett had against the TSA, we showed that back in 2011, they admitted in their own internal documents that there was no threat against airports or airplanes. In 2011, at the same time, they were threatening a no-fly zone in Texas because we had Texas representatives that had already passed unanimously, essentially, in the House to rein in the TSA and its sexual abuse against children going into their pants, looking, harassing everyone at the border when they come in via plane, but opening up the border completely for anyone to come in. Now, there's a story that's up on the Drudge Report from uh, Paul Joseph Watson, and this is a professor from University of California at Davis, and he also says that this is a deliberate plot. Now, this is what he, his take on it. He says this is a plot to exclude the American middle class from a University of California education and to create a new demographic of largely immigrant or foreign national undergraduate population that can be re-educated from the ground up and controlled more readily. Exactly. This is about excluding the middle class. This is about... This is what the colleges have been doing for a long time, but this is why they're bringing in the massive influx of immigration. They want people who are indebted with gratitude to the state for their education, for everything that the state is lavishing on them, and they are lavishing expenses on them far greater than they are, for example, our veterans of the VA hospitals. They're getting nothing, whereas these people who are coming in illegally are being given everything, transportation, food, clothing, shelter. They are trying to indebt them with gratitude. And if you want to go to college, however, you're not going to get in-state tuition rates. You're not going to get a full ride commission, as he talks about, or tuition. You're not going to get that. Illegals will get it. The children of the illegals will get it, but you aren't. They can go to any state that they want and get in-state tuition. If I were to go from Texas to California, I wouldn't get in-state tuition in California, but illegal aliens will. 
And so what they're trying to do is they're either going to indebt these people with gratitude to the state that takes care of them in all respects, or if you choose to go to college, you will be so indebted to the banks that you will never get out of debt. You will be an indentured servant to the banks for the rest of your life. You can't dismiss.